good morning and win forever and ever and ever in jesus mighty name beloved children of god people of grace you are welcome this is the day that our lord jesus has made we we, uh, we should rejoice and be glad on it you are welcome Mama Ruthie welcome you. I know that you are blessed and you are protected by God and you are highly favored and you are who God says you are and that you are unstoppable with the grace. Yes, you are welcome. May God bless you. It is Monday. We have to go back to the devotion. Hey, those South Africa's load shedding problems is getting worse and worse. I pray that everything becomes normal again. Children of God, you are welcome. Yes, to those who didn't yet subscribe, please. Just subscribe. Subscription doesn't cost a cent, please. Just subscribe and support us to do the work of God and help us to preach the word of our Father. So that people can get a salvation. Children of God, share the link. Give it to others. By doing that, you are doing God's work also. Because you are busy winning souls. Your reward in heaven will be so great. So please, children of God, let's help each other. I love you, Mama Ruti, still love you. But God loves you more than I. So let's pray and welcome the Word and the Holy Spirit. Father, welcome you, Jesus. Jesus. Jesus, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, our God, the Spirit of the truth. Our God, the creator of heaven and earth. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, our Father. We thank you, our advocate, the Spirit that lives in us, that is protecting us, praying for us. You are welcome this morning. Fill our heart. Give us strength when we are weak. Fight for us. Holy Spirit, we love you. Challenges that we are coming, uh, we are passing through. Father, remove it. With your hand, Father, every cup, uh, it will pass. No problem or challenges that can last forever. There's none. There's no such in life. It will pass, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, while we continue to work, Father, hold on our confidence. Even though we are weak sometimes, but we know that you will strengthen us because when we are weak, you are strong for us. We welcome you. Holy Spirit, fill us, take control. Where they are sitting, listening. My Father, my Lord, let there be light, the light of God. Hence, darkness will never come and survive or witness the light next to it. The light will destroy darkness. Let there be light, Lord, the light of God, to burn darkness, blockages that are busy blocking your children, blocking us to do awake, blocking us when they, we sleep, when they sleep. Let the fire of the Holy Ghost fill us, the light of God to continue, and be with us. Holy Spirit, fill us as we read the script of the book that you gave us to the book of Joshua. The light of God, Lord, to work in us. Wisdom in us. As we read the word, Lord, let be you speaking, we know, but open our heart. Fill our heart, remove all the disturbance and the blockages. And every spirit that lock our children's heart not to receive. Because they know that Satan knows that once they receive, yes, they'll conquer him. But Father, Holy Father, do not count our sins. But instead, revive us and restore us. Do not cast our way out away from your presence. Father, pull us and blow on us. Breathe in us, Holy Spirit. Breathe in our heart. Breathe in our children's heart. Resurrect our heart. Resurrect our life. You are our life of your children, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Holy Spirit, you reign. Jesus, Jesus, fill this place. Fill the atmosphere with your spirit as we read the word. Let us, Father, the word be understandable, Father, so that it can give us wisdom and direction of all our path that we are walking in daily life. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. 
Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you that I am that I am. Thank you, Ebenezer. Thank you, you will sit on the Father's throne. You are worthy to be praised. You are God, and you are still God. We love you, Holy Spirit, and we adore you. Come and make your way. Come and do what you have to do in our life. Amen. You are welcome again, children of God, people of grace. The one that I love them, the one that I respect and love. Is bad as a Lord sharing even now. I'm reading the Bible with the touch of the phone. It is how South Africa it is. And oh, they're still speaking that we have to embrace it. Meaning that it's still a long way to go. Now it's winter. Eh? Children of God, winter is coming. We are still suffering. But God will perfect it us for us. Children of God, we're going to read the book of Joshua. And so you know that Joshua was called by Father God after the death of Papa Moses. So that's where he was installed as a leader and Father God was giving him all the directions and what to do and not to do. So children of God, hence we are the Israelites. We are the seeds of Abraham. Yes, and the descendant of Jacob. We ask the God is still speaking with us even today. We'll be reading and protecting the word of Joshua 1 from verse 7 to 9. Open your heart as you read Joshua 1 from verse 7 to 9. It reads this Be strong and be very courageous. Be careful to obey all the law that my servant Moses gave, gave you. Do not turn from it to the right or to the left, that you may be successful wherever you go. Keep this book of the law always on your lips. Meditate on it day and night, so that you may be careful to do everything written in it. Then you will be prosperous and successful. Have I not commanded you, be strong and courageous? Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord our God will be with you wherever you go. That's the book of Joshua 1, from verse 7 to 9. Be strong and be courageous. Be careful to obey the law of my servant Moses. Father God is still reminding us that the law of Moses, we mustn't forget it. No matter when we get a new leader in church, who will come with his own uh, 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 laws or rules to say you do this and my church will do this. Yes, you have to do that. But the main important thing, the law of Moses, the commandments, do not kill, adultery, all those things, gossips, falsely uh, 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 witnessing, destroying other people, all those things that we know that it is, it falls under the law of Moses. We cannot forget it. He reminds us that in every new leader, whether it's a church or wherever, but we must always bear in mind these laws that are important. And he's still telling us that we cannot be afraid. And every situation that we're passing through, we need to be courageous. He will be with us till the end of the time. He is with us in our heart. He's not far. He said the important thing is to keep his law as his book. To read the way that is in the book. To meditate with it day and night. Meditation brings revelation, children of God. Why we have to meditate? Our brain, the minute you switch it off after meditation, it will think a hundred things. 
I wonder if my son, how is he now? Because he's far from me. I wonder how my mother is doing. I wonder what we're going to eat tonight. He want to keep us away, bro. That time when he was busy thinking a lot of things in our brain, our mind, that's where devil entered. Children of God, as I, I say that, there were no witches in this world. There were nothing. Everything come from Satan. That is why when we check on the book of Romans, what Romans, Corinthians, and, and let me say even Romans. Hmm? If we check on those books, it's where the, uh, 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 the sorry the, the the book of law is reminding us about all what we are fighting for. Hmm? All those principalities that we are fighting is those high level demons of Satan. As I said it before, children of God, that devil, because he was a right hand of God, think that he can do, he can be like, he can be God at any time. Hmm? Because Father God, he, he knows, he knew what Father God was saying to him that I'm going to do this, planning and planning, knowing that he's busy copying everything. So children of God, everything that you are suffering from, it comes from Satan. And all these principalities. Hmm? We are fighting not a, 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 a human beings. We are fighting principalities. Those rulers. Principalities are those demons that I'm speaking about. Hmm? So children of God, that is why Father God wanted us to always be in a state of meditation. Meditation. So that we can also be not like other people. People can know us by the fruit of our spirit. Because while we do that, everything, the laws of God, it's becoming enhanced in our lives. Love become more great. We love, we start to love any person. Because our levels are changing. Perseverance is there. We always say, let's leave it for God. We mustn't worry ourselves. We must leave it for God. And then peace become in our heart and be instilled. And we have joy. And then the kindness is there. We control ourselves. We have gentleness and faithfulness. All those are the fruit of the Spirit. Okay, according to the book of Galatians 5, if you remember last time when we read on the book of Galatians 5, verse 22. Mm. So we are fighting those principalities. If we check on the book here of a book of Ephesians, the book of Ephesians reminds us about all what darkness, where demons come from. Especially the book of Ephesians 6 verse 10. Hmm? For because it says we, are, we don't we struggle against, we don't struggle uh, 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 against the flesh and blood. But the rulers of the dark world against the spiritual forces and evil of the heavenly realms. If you check witches and wizards, they're not strong, children of God. They're not strong. They are not strong. They're the smallest spirits. But we give them power, Satan. And he come and hijack our family heart and put all this nonsense so that they can have evil heart like him, deceitful heart like him, uh, carry them, give them snakes as him, and then come and violate them and come and torment us in our families. It's all about Satan. We fight Satan and these principalities. Those are demons, children of God, that are sitting high level, high rank, sitting next to him, Satan, in his throne. So our father says he's reminding us that we mustn't be like that. We must be courageous. He will never forsake us. Children of God, our father knows 
what you're going to eat today. Even if you don't have food, that's why I always will send a stranger as a destiny helper to give you something. Or to a person that you know, a person where you will just phone and say, I wanted to check on you. I know that you have problems, let me send you money. Because Father God enter in our hearts. That's why our God, the creator of heaven and earth, has left a spirit of Satan to enter Judas Iscariot to sell his son. That was the only way so that his son, it must be fulfilled what's written on the laws and being prophesied that he shall be born. His name is Jesus. He will be handed over by the Gentiles. Gentiles, you must know that they emanate. There are people like, let me say, a group of people from these Jews. Because Jesus Christ was a Jew. And he was killed by his own people, Jews. That were Gentiles. Criticizing. Wanting their own laws. Don't believe in him. But that's one. That, that one. That one Nicodemus. That believed him as a priest. That one who will believe it's not everyone that will say, yeah, this uh, uh, root is a fake, is a false brother. There will be one or two that will say, no, she's coming from God. If she's a fake, why there are testimonies? If she's a fake, why she's praying for people and the demons are listening? So children of God, we must be courageous. Never be afraid or don't take heart. And every challenge that you are passing through. And for me, my duty is to pray for you. When I feel that my spirit is not right, says contact this one, do this one, and you tell me that there are challenges, I'll continue to pray for you. No matter how blockages will block that I must see. No. God's time is the best. He will show me at his own time what is wrong with his, ch his children. What is wrong with the child of God that I'm praying for? It's not a problem to say, send a message or WhatsApp, say, please pray for me today. I'm at work, but please remember me. Then I'll, I must stand up. It's my duty to round in this house in the altar and pray for you. I'll remind us again, children of God, the woman of the Canaanite, when she says, son of David, he ignore him. If you don't have patience, ah, let me go because even Jesus doesn't answer me. When he ignore you, pray more and more. That's why he said, oh, woman, your faith is too strong. Go. Go. Your daughter will never die. He's healed. Because of the faith, faith conquer all. It's not easy. I'll repeat it a hundred times. I pass through it every day. It's not easy. But because God fight for us, and God's time is the best, I know that I shall conquer. My time will come. He said he will never forsake you. Be courageous and strong. We must not depart away from his a uh, 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 book of law as a weight. We have to read and pray and meditate. When we don't know how to meditate, blood, God, blood of Jesus, Holy Spirit in me, blood of Jesus, come. Here I am. You know what I'm passing through. Blood of Jesus, have mercy on me, son of David. Something is busy lighting there. Something is sparking the light to heaven. Something is strengthening you to be courageous. Something is changing your way of life and behavior. Something is open and be released, coming to you in heaven. So let's continue and do that, children of God. And that weak body. I don't know how many times preaching being weak. But because I know my Redeemer liveth. After preaching within a few minutes, my body is revived. But if I was someone, I would say, let me sleep. I'm not well. I cannot declare negative words in my mouth. My sister knows. She will come and say this and this. I say, no, my God live. My God liveth. Says, so leave that one. Pray. God is there. I trust in him. 
He will never lie. He's not a man. When I say Holy Ghost, fire in your body. I say, come out, fire in his convent, fire in his darkness. And in my heart, I'm releasing the fire. And I picture that fire burning those convent and the darkness. Satan is the one who destroys the children of God. That's why he's still doing it. A child of God will give a testimony that even now when I was sleeping, he will still come to say, why can't you come back to me and try to negotiate? I'll give you more riches. And then a lot of us, body of Christ, we fall into his traps. Those riches cannot come alone. Families in the family people must die. Because of one person, that Satan took over and possessed him. He thought he's clever. He has seen that you are praying in our families. Then he says, I'll choose one to change him or her and make him a witch. That's why I said we have to pray for them. Because most of them, they don't know. We are fighting principalities, the rulers of darkness. As the book of Ephesians 6 says it. So we have to keep on meditating. And call his word. And open the Bible. While it's very tough. And read whatever you pass through. God is with you. And when he's with you. Who can be against you? Children of God. That marks the end of our preaching today. Please read it. Read this the audio version. This uh, word from the book of Joshua 1. Starting from the book, uh, verse 7 to verse 9. And believe in God. Let's continue to believe and trust God. We cannot say, and we stop. You heard the word last time. Because why he's telling us? He depends on me and you. For the God already seen that our heart loves him. We love him. We have given ourselves to him. He doesn't want to lose us as his children. He said we're always, if you check children of God and assess from the past two months, all the book of life that is giving us what we are reading, it's all about him reminding us to be strong and be courageous. We thank him for the love and grace and mercy. We thank you for the grace that is so sufficient. Children of God, let's pray. Spirit of the living God, touch whatever you want to touch. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Jesus, 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 pray with me, child of God. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Here are your children, Lord. Flow, Spirit of the living God, what deliverance hand. Father, give us strength, power, strength, power, wisdom. Father, to fight this darkness, these principalities, the rulers of the dark world. Those are busy fighting us, demons. Fighting us, Lord Jesus, to destroy our lives, to pollute the children of God's lives with all the infectious viruses, to torment us, Lord, Holy Father. Holy Spirit, here we are. Calling your holy name, fight for us, Lord. Fight for us everything that they oppose. They oppose our children's marriages. They bring conflict in their houses. They don't want peace between us and our children. Holy Ghost, descend and fight and scatter and destroy. Holy Ghost, power, glory. The attached spirit that they release. Devil using our families. Changing the heart and make them witches to torment us in order for him to occupy our houses, our families, our children. We resist it by the power of the Ghost. 
Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, fire destroy, Holy Ghost, fire search and burn, Holy Ghost, fire uproot whatever is deposited in our families, our children, in order to fight us so that Satan can use them to torment our lives. Holy Ghost, fire destroy whatever entered our body, that is darkness, Satan, in our waist, our back, the children of God waist, back coming from Satan and his agent. Holy Ghost, fire, such and break it. I break it and disconnect. Come out. Holy Ghost, fire, wet crowd spirits emanating from Satan. Principalities, rulers of the dark world. We break and disconnect you. By the power of the Ghost, the mighty name of Jesus Christ, come out. By the power of the Ghost, Holy Ghost, fire, you shall never stay in our body. Come out. But the fire of the ghost, Holy Ghost, fire, we break our yokes. We disconnect our linkage. Come out in our body flu system. Out in our life. Holy Ghost, fire in our back, front, chest. Holy Ghost, fire in the blood flu system. Holy Ghost, fire from the head to the sole of the feet. Holy Ghost, fire, come out, you darkness. Out in our lives, our children. Holy Ghost, fire out in the hand of God. Hand of my father. The hand of my father. The finger of God. Father, release the spark of thunderbolts. Our body, our cells, our heart. Yes, Lord. Evil deposit. Thunderbolts of fire burn it. From the head, the eyes, the brain come out. The chest, the stomach, the waist come out. Holy Ghost, fire, thunderbolt. The finger of God in our body flu system. Finger of God in the spinal cord, the chest, the heart. Those is tension. Holy Ghost, fire, one, two, three, out in Jesus' mighty name. Fingerbolt of God. Be released in your finger, Lord. Search and destroy all the deposit causing afflictions, infections, diseases, viruses. Thunderbolt, one, two, three, out your afflictions, infirmities. Holy Ghost, fire be broken, burn. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, flash every darkness. Spirit of premature death, go! Spirit of premature death, I say go! Out in Jesus' mighty name. I command you by the power of the ghost. I break you and disconnect all your wickedness. Go! One, two, three. Thunderbolts of heaven, strike a pen. Destroy all the linkage of all marine spirits. You marine spirits. Causing blockages. Backwardness, limitation, progress, blockage is jealous, evil, wickedness. Holy Ghost, fire, come out. One, two, three, thunderbolts of heaven, finger of God, break it and loose. Out in Jesus' mighty name, release the children of God, release us. Whatever you deposit, and the eyes, the brain of a child of God. The eyes, the brain, the body, the fluid, the system, the veins, all your disease. From the kidneys, lungs, the heart, whatever you deposited, be roasted and burned and die. The light of God, I break it and disconnect. Light of God, roast evil deposit. Be flushed out in our body fluid system. Come out, out. Be flushed out. Veins, fluid system, blood, body. Out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Come out, you darkness, evil darkness. Sword of the Spirit. I evoke the power of the sword of the Spirit. Break, search, and disconnect. Holy Ghost, fire, break, search, and disconnect. Holy Ghost, fire, break, search, and disconnect. Their bodies, our bodies, flu system. Search and burn. Sword of the Spirit. Destroy evil pollution. Come out, you evil pollution. You darkness, out, be flush out. Evil pollution. Come out, be flush out. At what place where there are at home, in our body, our heart. I render you powerless. You are powerless. Be unified. I unify your wickedness. Be flushed out. Be unified. I unified all your poison. Be flushed out. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, be uprooted. Be flushed out. Where you are hiding, those evil, 
deposit to deposit our parents, our mothers, our brothers, our bodies, and all that to take them early to the grave. I break the spirit of premature death. Graveyard spirit. Be broken, lose your grip. Graveyard spirit. Come out to be disconnected. In Jesus' mighty name, come out. I command you by the power in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lose your grip, go. In Jesus' mighty name. Blockages, marine spirit. Fire, come out. Wherever you're operating, in our lives, whatever we do, you marine spirit, I dry up by the thunder of the ghost. I send the angels of heaven. Dry up your wicked evil waters. Dry up, I replace it with the rivers of the living water. Rivers of the living water. Purify us, our children. Purify their families, their children. With the light and fire at school, their children. Be surrounded by the blood and fire. Their children, their desks at school, their books. I soak it with the blood, the light of God in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord. It is a daily devotion. All the strangest vibration in the body, movement. I burn you with the burning sulfur, your crown, evil insects, evil snakes, eggs of insects. I burn you with the burning sulfur. Be roasted and die. I burn your wicked evil teeth that you are sucking all the anointing and the blood. I break it. Be disconnected. I close your avenue with the blood and fire. In Jesus' mighty name. Under their desk. I pour the blood at school at the offices where they are working. The blood and fire on their chest. The burning coal of fire on their chest. In their offices. The wall. Of fire, the, the fire, uh, the pillar of fire and the wall, the pillar of fire on the roof, the ceiling, our houses. I'll be exposed and die. Darkness, evil insects that were operating invisible. Be exposed when you are die. Die in the houses, the offices. Die wherever you are operating. Die in the cars. Be burned and be exposed. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen, amen, and amen. May the blood of Jesus soak you. May the Father of God barricade you. The wall of fire, wherever you are going. As soon as it had you pray, the book of Psalm 40, uh, 18, 44 to 45. They have to obey you, whatever you say. Let your mouth carry authority, power authority, anointing in you. The grace that is so sufficient. Anointing flow from thy head to the sole of the feet. Father, release your glory upon them. Let them retrieve all their virtues, their wisdom and power. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Thank you, Lord. Emmanuel. Shalom. We'll see each other tomorrow. And tomorrow, children of God. People of the grace, there will be a, our post will be about witchcraft prayers, sorry, midnight, midnight prayer against witchcraft. It will be a prayer for midnight. The prayer for tomorrow meaning that you must pray with it at midnight. I won't make it long. Because I know that you are going to work, most of you. But it will must be powerful. So you must download it and pray with it at midnight. It is a midnight prayer, children of God. I'll be starting to prepare for it today. May God bless you as you listen. Wherever I go, be blessed. Wherever I touch, where you move. May my Father build your body as a fortified wall. May he make your body to be bronze of wall, that no darkness, no evil can penetrate. May you dress you up with the armor, so that no darts of darkness, fiery darts, will come and destroy you. In Jesus' mighty name, shalom.